Hi, I'm Margo Brown. I'm the director of the Catherine Miles Durst Child Development Learning Center located in Merrill Hall on the campus in Orono. We are a site for child study, research, and teacher training, and we've been here since 1931. So we've been around a very long time. I'm gonna be giving you a tour of our indoor classroom and our outdoor classroom. We always typically have the children out a lot. We have a beautiful campus where we can take the children on long walks. We can go look at the art museum in Lord Hall. We can go on sculpture walks. We can go look for bear statues. We follow the bear paw prints. We go down to the river and we have the farmer's market. So we like to have the children out and about on campus. This semester, because of COVID, we are outside pretty much all day. We have set up our outdoor classroom on our play yard and I'll be giving you a tour. Thank you. This is our outdoor classroom and the teachers are setting up for the afternoon. Our sink for outdoors. Over here. This is where the children come in. The parents sign in. We take the children's temperature, check them for symptoms, and then they come over to the sink to wash their hands and they go play. Sandbox. This is our tower for climbing. Over here at this table, we have nature materials for collage, lots and lots of glue at this school, and paint. At this art table outside on the play yard, we're starting a study of Van Gogh, and we're starting with sunflowers. When we're working with the sunflowers here, we have magnifying glasses, paints. We'll be adding Sharpies so that they can draw them. We're starting to look closely at the materials. Art's very important to us at this school. Also, anything outside to do with nature. We do believe children need to be moving their bodies. While they're out here, they're building, thinking, running, creating. We talk about being mathematicians, engineers, scientists. We make predictions and we test our theories. Over here is our sand pit for digging. We've added dinosaurs today. This slide moves around the play yard. Sometimes it's stacked with the tires and they use it to roll cars down. It's movable. Over here we have a cozy, cozy area set up for reading and chatting. Over here is our mud kitchen. The children cook with mud, sand, water. Right over here. We love donations of pots. Over here on the fence are documentation sheets. We like to keep these around inside and outside so we can write down, document what the children are doing, the language that they use. We use this to plan curriculum, look at where the children are at, what we want to add to the areas. We bring these to our meetings on Friday morning when we talk about what we're going to be adding to the classroom, where the children are at, where we want them to go next, document their language. Over here, magnet tiles and mirrors. Over here is our music wall. We buy all of these things at the Orno thrift, thrift store. We use wooden spoons for making music. And over here is our outside gathering area. Lots of tree stumps, lots of boulders. We do music out here, storytelling, snack. We have picnics every day. And this is our play yard, our outdoor nature classroom. All right, this is the classroom. This is our loft. The children go up there one at a time. They can invite a teacher up there to read to them, but that's where they go to get away from the crowd. When they need a moment, when they need to take a breath, when they just need to not be around other people, they can go up there and recharge, meditate, gather their thoughts, and then come back to the group. This is our writing area. 
and over here is block building. We have lots and lots of blocks right there. And this is our stage. We can pull this out and the children can build tall, tall towers on that. Over here, this is where we gather books. This is our question of the day. This is our art area. Art's very important to us at the school. It's all process art, not product. It's the children's work. This is typically set up with an art easel, collage, clay, sand, and we do artist studies. There is our rendition of a Chihuly glass sculpture, chandelier. He's the glass blower in Seattle, and that's our rendition of it.